everyone, welcome to Crafts with Kesgrave Library. This week we are going to be making this nodding head polar bear picture, as it was actually International Polar Bear Day yesterday. So the things we're going to need for this craft are some white paper, our scissors, our glue, a pencil, and also our pens, pencils or crayons. So the first thing that we need to do is using our paper and our pencil and scissors, we need to draw and cut out the following shape. So we need to cut out this shape, and this is gonna be the back legs and the bottom of our polar bear. Then we need to cut out the same shape, but smaller for the front legs and shoulders of our polar bear. Then we need to cut out our polar bear head, remembering his ears. And also we need two long rectangle strips of paper as well. So the first thing that we need to do, taking the biggest shape and then our slightly smaller one, we need to, using our glue, stick them together. But we need to stick them not directly on top of each other. We need to stick the smaller one slightly to the side. So if I stick mine on and then I'll show you. Because we want to be able to see all his legs. There we go, like that. So there we go. So this is my smaller one, which I've just stuck in the gap of the legs on the back, like that. Now the next thing we need to do is put a face on our polar bear. So using your pens, you can draw him some eyes and also some eyebrows, if you like, or some eyelashes. We need to draw him a nose these can be any colour that you like. You need to draw him a mouth. And also, I'm going to colour in the inners of his ears. So I'm going to do mine all black, because it's a nice contrast colour to the all white of the polar bear, and it just makes his features stand out a bit more. But you can do them whatever colour you like. So once you have given your polar bear a nice face, there you go, like that. Put that to the side and grab your two pieces of paper. Now we need to, using one, we need to put a bit of glue on the very end. Then holding it this way, we need to grab our other one and we need to lay that like that and stick them together. Now the next thing that we need to do is almost sort of plait them really. So each time we need to fold it over. So that one goes over that one. And then this one folds next over that one. This one comes back. Each time just a different one till it all piles off on each other. Just keep going until we get to the very end. There we go. And then last thing you need to do, again, glue the last wet and stick that down like that. And then when you open it up, it will look like this. Let me just see that. And that's what's going to make our polar bear's head nod up and down. So once we have done that, we need to then stick that onto the back of our polar bear's head. There we go. And then we need to stick the other end onto his body. So just see where you want to put it. There we go. And then stick that on as well. Oops, and stick that down. 
And once you've stuck it down, you can just gently pull his head out a bit so that you haven't completely crushed our piece underneath. And there we go. There is our polar bear with his nodding head. Now, the last thing left to do is to make a background for your polar bear. So using your pencils or pens or crayons, you can draw whatever background you want. This one, I've just done a nice blue and purple background, but you could draw icebergs, you could do the water, you could put penguins in the background, however you want to do it. So if you draw, do, do your background, and then all you need to do then is to stick your polar bear into the background and he's all done with his nodding head. I hope you had fun making this craft. Thank you. Bye.